Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Big Ambitions. I hope you're having a great day today. I'm outside the General U.S. Trucks. Maybe it's General Us Trucks. I don't know. We got $349,000. Yeah, we made sixty-five grand yesterday. We're cruising now that we got that uh, jewelry store. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade my warehouse. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say, hey, big ash truck with 60 cargo space for 98 grand. You are mine. And I'm going to go over and I'm going to leave the store. I'm going to go over and can I click it from here? Oh, there we go. It, yep, there it goes. So I'll, I'll just go ahead and get in it from here. And what we're going to do is we're going to drive over to our new warehouse big truck oh, I am sorry this is makes wider turns that I'm used to I'm sorry I just got my CDL yesterday okay this this feels way different than it did in the simulator <laughs> all right I'm done I don't know how many references I need today um, real quick uh, is right here okay so we're gonna come over here we're gonna pull on into I think the second bay. I'm not sure it matters, but I'm going to try the second bay here. There we go. And you see that little van right there? That's getting replaced with this. All right, boom. So we'll go ahead and... Uh... Oh, it beeps! Oh, yes, it beeps! <laughs> uh, okay, good. I wonder if it always beeped. Because remember, before, vehicles didn't even have sounds, so... Figured, yeah, maybe, maybe it does. Um, we're gonna go ahead and grab this, pull this out of the vehicle bay. I like how it's face. Whoa, okay, maybe it, maybe I don't. All right, there it goes. So we're gonna take this out of the vehicle bay. We're gonna go all the way back to the truck store. We're gonna buy ourselves another big truck. Yes, one more giant truck for us. Is this a parking spot? Is this legal? Uh, illegal, 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 but legal. Thank you. Okay. We're going to head all over here. Hello, General Us Trucks. I'm back. Spending almost $200,000 on this store today. Yeah, we're spending a quarter million today. Just, just today. Actually, a lot more. At 12 o'clock, we're going to have an order come in from the docks from the import, which is going to import jewelry. Oh, you know, here we go. Oh, oh, oh I thought I could get away with it. This, this cab just had to ruin my fun. Just can't, can't you just wait until there's you can't wait till there's traffic tickets, right? All right, there it is, jet cargo import. So that brought in uh, a bunch of expensive jewelry, not nearly as much as I'd like to import, but it brought in some, and that's okay. That's good, so go over here, right to this, and there we go, vehicle bay one, and uh-oh, not letting me in. Oh, gotta be perfect. Oh, damn it, maybe you can't be perfect, oh no. Oh, I can't get in there. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, park it like a phantom car in here or something okay just checking because <laughs> we had a car assigned here before right so i just wanted to make sure i was is there a way to there it goes just ram it right in there <laughs> okay so biz manager uh no we're going to we are we're going here we're going to the warehouse though the warehouse two and we've got two drivers and grab our hall and ava and you're both there and you both have medium trucks there very good. Uh, so now, if I go back to my Char Incorporated Logistics Manager, we can now support eight destinations. Yeah, look at that, huh? Eight destinations on this. And we're only using two. So we got to get some more stuff in this. Uh, we got to pile some more stuff inside the business uh, or inside the warehouse. And we also need to expand. We can have more businesses now, can't we? That's all it takes. Did you know that? That's all it takes. Now, of course, we do have to stack a whole bunch of shelves in these warehouses. So I have taken the liberty while we've been offline. I have taken the liberty to supply my warehouse with a few shelves. Not a lot, but, uh, you know, there's some in here enough to at least get us started. 
now that I've got $106,000, well, there's a lot going on here to get us started. Um, let's go ahead and jump in the van really quick. And today we're going to be starting a liquor store. And we're going to start a liquor store because if I take a look at interview light, uh, liquor store is uh, almost two to one the favorite for this area. So uh, liquor store is where we're going to be. In order to get that done, we have to choose a location. But before we can do that, we got to have the liquor. Beep, 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 me, 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 me. So I'm going to use this van to go over and get the liquor. Maybe. See, maybe I can push through this guy. There we go. Uh, we have to set up the store with, you know, counters and checkout counters, you know, all that stuff, right? But uh, we do actually need the liquor to sell. Um, in fact, I think we're also going to need some paper bags to sell here, too. Now, I can just add it to the warehouse list but uh oh i also need to start buying salad from imports too right because we're not doing anything with that yet either all right so a cup of coffee croissants Jeez, expensive jewelry cigars bottles of wine probably is where the liquor store is um is it just bottles of wine though do you not sell anything else This ending part here is all clothing, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Dev has mentioned that they uh, might be simplifying, I guess, the clothing area because there's a lot of SKUs. I personally don't mind how many SKUs there are. In fact, I kind of like it, to be honest, having all these different SKUs. What I don't like is two things about it. One of them I've expressed before. The other is going to get fixed anyway. Um, and that's how the names display. They don't display very cleanly. We've talked about this already. It's going to change. Um, and, you know, he, he's he's got it. He's, he's This guy's smart, okay? This guy knows what he's doing, right? But um, the second thing I really don't like is how it factors the maximum capacity for the store, right? I don't like this. And the fact that you have to have three of each one, and if you have one of any of them, then your maximum capacity drops like a tank. I, I don't like that system. I actually wish that it would add up to a certain amount per thing you add rather than being restricted. Um, so like, for example, maybe the maximum limit starts, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe it has no limit at all. But like if you add one of these things, it, it adds like two more capacity or three more capacity or something. I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. I haven't really given it much thought, to be honest. All I know is that I don't like the way it is. Okay. I'm going to do that typical thing on the internet where you, uh, I'm going to complain. I don't have any better solutions, but I'm going to complain. That's me right now with the, with that, with that system. There you go. Uh, the cigar. Now, do we sell cigars at a liquor store? It's right next to it, but I feel like it's not, I feel like that's not what you do, you know? I feel like there's probably another specific store. And that's another thing I, I kind of wish would maybe change in the future. We've touched on that a couple of times. I'm not going to like drill it in, but the mixing and matching of ideas, um, I would really like that to be a thing. You know, like to be able to say, I sell cigars at my liquor store would be pretty cool. Uh, to like maybe say that my, uh, you know, I don't know, like have, having having things where you can sell multiple types of things in a store, like coffee in a fast food restaurant. Imagine that you can sell coffee in a fast food restaurant, that kind of thing, right? I, I feel like that's these are types of like opportunities to, to mix and match and make your business your own. All right, let's go like this. <clears throat> um, you know, now I might as well fill this thing up because I don't I can't import bottles of wine, ironically, because. You know, most of the really good bottles of wine come from out of, out of this country. Uh, but I can't I can't import them for now. At least it doesn't seem like I can. Let me actually just confirm that really quick. Um, I don't think it'll have any bearing on whether or not I buy this right now. But I see croissants. I see salad. I don't see bottles of wine anywhere. Uh, same thing for this one. Wine bottle is not here. So I have to buy it from the from the, from this guy uh, for now. So we're going to place this order. Then I'm going to go to the map really quick while I'm still here. I'm going to figure out a place to actually make our liquor store. And I'm kind of feeling... I don't know traffic index there. Maybe we go downtown with this one. Or we go just down the road. I mean, if the traffic index isn't terrible, it is. 
I don't really want these big places. These are like more office-y kind of buildings. I don't really want those. This is my... Wait, isn't this the... Okay, so just down the street from... That's not bad. But this is in the wrong district, though. This is in Hell's Kitchen, I think, right? I think I want to be in here for, for this need, to fill this need. What about uh, on, the, on the corner over here? Closing hours. Oh, Fast Chuck is already here, right? What about right next to Fast Chuck? We could do that. Right next to Fast Chuck? Why not? Or Fast Chuck 2, I guess, yeah? Look at that. Even in this picture, it shows Fast Chuck 2 right here. Like, this isn't even just a template picture. It literally says Fast Chuck 2 right there. Now, that's cool. I had never realized that before. These images are, like, dynamic, and they're changing, too. Cool. All right. We're going to start a liquor store business. Um... I really don't know of a name. So tell you what, I'm going to give it a generic name for now. We're going to call it the, the liquor store. Liquor, liquor store. I swear I can spell. Uh, maybe. Um, we have liquor store. It, it does look like there's no like dedicated cigar shop. So I'm, I'm willing to bet you I can sell cigars at the liquor store. We're going to go like this. Um, in real quick product range so i need to see what kind of products to sell here but what i wanted to do and the reason why i wanted to do this before i left the uh, store here is because since i can't import at the importer these goods i need to set up a delivery and i can do it right now now that i have that business so i want to start a contract uh to my liquor store which the name will change. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what am, what am I calling the liquor store? Need at least one storage shelf in the building. Uh, of course I do. Come on, why? <laughs> why? Boo! This was my entire plan. Should be. It should be. You need one shelf to make it to to take a delivery, not to set up a contract. Like, what does this guy even care? Why? Why does he care if I have a storage shelf right now? You know. If they show up and they can't deliver, then I still pay them this money, right? Isn't that how it works? Eee! Just spin that guy around. <laughs> um, this is on 5th Street or 4th Street? On 4th. Yeah. I like the icon, too. It's like an actual liquor store icon. It's, it, looks like a, it looks like a wine glass. Maybe it's a champagne glass. Is there a real difference? I guess I always envision, and I drink champagne and wine, and not like a lot, but I know I've done some, you know, every once in a while, social gatherings, right? I always imagine like a wine glass is more rounded and the champagne glass is like, this is a wine glass. Champagne glass would be, I don't know, like the, they have steeper edges, steeper sides, you know, like a, they're more of a, Less a cup on the top and more a cone, you know? I don't know. Different styles of cups. I'm not very cultured, if you couldn't tell. Um, in any case, I can't even do anything with this until I get stuff inside, which is a problem because I didn't even bring a hand cart. So I'm going to have to borrow the hand cart and uh, get the shelf going on, too. So we will just place this box over in the corner for now. This is a pretty small storage room. I still think we should be able to see the inside before renting the place. It's a uh, very small room here. I don't know about this. It seems like I'm not going to have enough room to, to put things. We'll, we'll see. Trying to... There we go. Burgers on the grill. Yep. Everything has burger here, right? You guys are good. You don't need anything. No, you seem fine. Okay. I really want to get this though. Can I have that hand cart? The hand cart is in a worse spot than it's ever been, I tell you. It needs to be somewhere else. Uh, honestly, you know what would be really nice? Maybe this will remove some of the immersion. All right, I get that. But let's just not have the hand cart visible in the building for me to click on. Let's just say if I'm in the building, I click a, click a button right down here and just boom, done, you know? Like, put a button, like, I don't know, right right here or maybe down inside. Or maybe just the one faint little button right here. And if I click it, boom, now I have a hand cart, you know? 
If there's already one that has stuff on it, then it's it's in there, right? But if, uh, you know, that way I don't have to fish it down all the time. You know? I don't know if there's a practical purpose for having to go and get it, but that's just me. Just trying to save time away from the mundane so I can get to the exciting stuff. All right, liquor store. Hi, can we put you... Well, I'm gonna have to go get an. Well, there should be one in here, though. Yeah, I shouldn't have to go over there and get that one. There should be one in here, right? Yeah, right there it is. <laughs> what are you doing? I haven't played this game in a little bit. I, I've I've taken like a week. I've been I've been dealing with a lot of stuff around my house. I'm 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 like mad busy. It's like spring cleaning and building and rearranging things. You know, it's the stuff adults do. You know. You gotta, sometimes you gotta just do things, you know? You can't play, sit around, play video games all day. You gotta get up off your butt and uh, and get stuff done. And that's that's what I've been doing, getting stuff done. Unfortunately, uh, getting off my butt means no games because I, you know, I sit on my butt when I play games. I thought about getting a standing desk, but the consistency of having everything exactly where I want it in the same place, it, uh, it, it was just something that I, I, I wanted to do and also, um, like I have everything at like the perfect elevation for me when I sit down at my desk. And I feel like if I went the standing desk route, I, I would end up like, it, would, it wouldn't be a good elevation. And I, I feel like my posture would actually be worse. Um, I'm probably wrong, but I feel like my posture would be worse in a standing desk. Just because I would, you know, maybe be hunched over or I'd be looking slightly down compared to being straight up. And when I'm in my desk right now and I'm in my chair that I'm in right now, it, I, I sit straight up. I have good posture with it. Great lumbar support, all that stuff. So I feel like, I don't know, like I, I know the standing desk would be a good idea, but especially on recording days, I get up and walk around and do things anyway. Like I'm, I'm up moving around uh, anyway, you know, so... Yeah, I don't. I don't really need the standing desk for the purposes of making sure I stand regularly. It's. It would kind of be. I feel like for my office environment, it would kind of be gimmicky. Maybe gimmicky isn't the right word, but I don't believe it would be necessary. I guess we'll go with that. All right. So I need to get cigars, but I also need to have the furniture for the liquor store. And so we're gonna do. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to. AJ's. I, I believe I need to go to AJ's for this. Might be wrong. In any case, I still need storage shelves and everything, too. Um, so we're going to go over to AJ's. He's this way. Going to get on this side of the street. There we go. And we're just going to go ahead and sleep real quick. And yeah, like 757. I think AJ's opens at uh, 8 o'clock, 8, 8 is it? They're already open. I, I, yeah, all right, never mind. They're already open. So we'll go in here. And I definitely need <clears throat> at least two of these. This is a really small storage shelf, so I'm kind of skeptical on the location I'm using, honestly. Let's see what we can do. Uh, and then I have a wine shelf and a cigar shelf. Okay, so I want one of these. Let's do two of these for now. I mean, I'm going to get a whole bunch of each one of them, so I guess it doesn't matter what order I buy them. All right, so then, now that we've bought this. Drop that off, go on back in. And uh, I think, I wonder about the trash bin. Huh. Do I even need, I wonder if I need that for anything. I need, definitely need a cigar shelf. I, I'm pretty sure we're gonna sell cigars here. So let's get four, uh, gosh, four shelves though, really? Do I need that? I mean, I guess... Uh, I don't know. I, I guess the... Um, one shelf could store cigars. The other shelf stores wine. That's technically enough. And then if I have logistics people handling the supply, then it's it's fine. You know? Like, I don't need to necessarily stock the shelves full of a whole bunch of stuff, I guess, in that case. Maybe it'll be fine. I'm going to go ahead and grab another wine shelf. One, two, three... Uh, I think four of each. We got four of those. We got four of these. Uh, so the last thing I'll grab, I guess, on this is... Mm, 
I, I don't think I can fit another storage shelf in there, so we'll grab a pallet instead. All right, so we'll check out here. I could have got a counter and stuff, but I can only get the pallet here. I can get the counter somewhere else. So let's put that stuff in the van. Load ourselves up. We're going to hightail it over. Yep, hightail. We're going to hightail it over to the appliance store where we can get the remainder of the appliances we need for this place. And I, I guess I could maybe drop off a little bit here, but... Oh, hang on. God, this is so hard to do. <laughs> ah, so hard to do while holding C. Okay, there we go. Okay, uh, we got seven slots available. Uh, well, more than seven if I take the cart out, but we got eight slots available in here. So we're going to need a register or a checkout counter. And, uh, well, the cash register is 900, but I have to have a counter with it. So that's another 470. It's an interesting price point. To where the cash register is not even available here. Well, that takes care of my problem. Then. So, we'll go with like this. Grab a mop. Grab a cash register. Grab shopping baskets. Those are the things we need. These are a few of my favorite things. Also, like salad bars, right? We got to get those because my two fast trucks, we are not serving salad. And I feel like that's just a... a, a we're missing that in the market, you know? We need to fill fill that gap in the market. Uh, okay, so I don't know exactly how many of these different things I need. Let's go ahead and this, yep. Uh -huh. We need to have it be where, we, we need to have this game change where I, I get penalized for traffic violations. <laughs> I mean, part of it is funny, but also part of it's like, you know, all right, maybe we don't need players driving like crazy people, all right? <laughs> All right, got the four cigar shelves. Somehow I left the hand cart behind. Hey, I'm crossing here. All right, so we'll set this up kind of over here. Let's say any which way. Uh, I need to grab another hand cart if I'm going to do it. Let's do that. Um, I'm also going to show you guys the clothing store. Because I said I would reorganize it. In the last video, at the end of the last video, right, I said I was going to reorganize that place because it was terrible. It was really, really awful looking, right? So I want to show you what I did over there, too. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this hand cart one more time. And we'll just go across the road real quick. And I just want to show you. I'll we'll pop this inside the van. All right, rags to wear. We're in here. So this looks way cleaner, doesn't it? <laughs> so we've got cheap male clothing, cheap female clothing, expensive, etc. So what, what, what I've done is I've made a classic section and a modern section. All right. And female clothing and male clothing is kind of mixed in, but they kind of are in their own little section. So like, you have female here, males through this row, you know, and they're kind of spread out all over the place. So we have kind of a, you can almost see how the labels are sorted here. Yeah. So much better. You have distinct aisles that you can walk through, right? You know, things aren't all over the place. It's organized. Would you like classic clothing? All over there. Would you like modern clothing? Over here at the window display, right? Now I could get another cash register. But, looking for it, there it is. It moved because I added the liquor store. Um, I could, but again, I'm already capacitied out, right? Like, that's it. Um, and then I can also start marketing and stuff as well. I have a pretty low expense for this, but I'm gonna auto renew it. It's $165 a day. I could advertise more and get more money. So I'm gonna look at that as, as well. Uh, but there you go. I, I did it. I did a thing. I made, I made it all better, okay? So much better. Uh, let's go ahead and get the counter and the cash register too. All right. We're going to head across here and we got to start setting up our liquor store pretty quick. I think we got most of the furniture done. One of the things I want to do though is get the storage shelf in place. Yeah, I'm not sure how many of these I can actually fit in here. 
It looks like I can get them. Ooh, right next to the hand cart. Okay. I can get, I think I can get three in here actually, but we'll have two for now. Uh, yeah, we can actually maybe get four in here almost. There, and then back to back on that, and then over here. Yeah, we could, we could potentially get four in here. All right, not bad. As far as the counter goes, really don't know. Uh, you know, I'm not sure where I would put it. I guess I'll put it near the door. Yeah, put it uh, maybe right over here near the door. Actually, you know what? We'll have you be right here. This is a little more interesting location for this. Um, yeah, cash register will go like that. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Plastic bags. Where are you? There's bottles of wine. Paper bags, I mean. We're not doing plastic here. We're being environmentally conscious. Bottles of wine. Bottles of wine. I got a lot of bottles of wine, don't I? Wow. Okay. So, can I do this? Can I have um, all the wine just be in here, right? I don't have to, like place them on the shelves anymore. I just select the shelves and say, hey, I want this to be there and then my employees just do it. That sounds superior, doesn't it? Sure does. Cigar shelves. Let's set those up. Now, I think I'll go up toward the back wall here with this. A couple of shelves right there. They kind of blend into each other if I put them right next to each other. I kind of I kind of like that, actually. If I, if I go like this... You know, but then it's sort of like, do you really need enough shelves? Like, do you need this many in the in your store? I don't know. Like, how many cigars can people really have? All these different brands. I mean, have the the wall of cigars, I guess. Yeah. Um, we'll put the wine shelves in. We'll say there's uh, some wine. I don't know. Here's fine, and then we get another shelf. Probably say right back behind this, back to back, like that. Be good. And then uh, maybe we'll move over a little bit. Go something like, I don't know. Give them some room, you know? Gotta let it breathe. Don't make it too compact. That's good. All right, so there's room to move around between the bottles and stuff. That's nice. Cigars along the wall. Okay, I can deal with that. Let's exit really quick to get rid of all those extra hand carts. And, uh... Looking at bottles of wine. Yep. So, again, I can I can just drop them off here now. I don't have to actually place them on the shelves. And I think this is all just, yep, tons and tons of bottles of wine right now. Here we go. Drop the hand cart. And the final thing is all these bottles of wine. All right. So we are we are stocked. We have a lot of we have a lot of stock. All right. Good. So now I want bottle of wine. Bottle of wine. So much faster oh my god so much better cigars cigars cigar oh what are you i don't see any cigars on the shelf am i not allowed to sell them or perhaps wait i don't have them do i i don't believe we bought cigars did we I don't believe so. Um, let's go back to Biz Manager, uh, Char Incorporated, Logistics, Bethany. I want you to be handling the liquor store. Yep, cigars and bottles of wine. Okay, so we need to get that in our warehouse. Now, I plan to um, eventually, once the Beta 2 comes out, I believe Beta 2 is when we get that, that next importer. I'm hoping, in addition to clothing, which is what I've been told is coming in beta 2, I'm hoping that, like, cigars and bottles of wine and stuff are, are there as well. But at least I can get Bethany to manage this. So, minimum amount in stock uh, for the bags, we'll say, is 3,000. That's that's excessive. Uh, 2,000. And then um, for cigars, we'll just say, like, 500 and 500, even though you can't do anything with that yet. But maybe later you can. Okay. Now we're going to get people uh, working the schedule and stuff as well. And it is... Where is it? Liquor store. Yep. So we don't have anyone other than cleaners uh, at the moment. They're the only ones that we really... 
have to be paying attention to. Also, uh, I still have a load in the car, don't I? Yeah, four items in the car. There's a mop and the stack of shopping bags. Oh, another, another wine shelf, too. All right, let's get the, the mop in here so I can start assigning the cleaners. Not that it matters that much, but we'll just place this, I guess, behind... Yeah, behind the door. Perfect. That's where we put it. Uh, we're going to need to hire some people. Let's call Anderson Recruitment really quick. Outside the business hours. I took too long. Okay. Do I have any employees that are not assigned to anything yet? Um, I have a delivery driver that's not assigned. Is that... Is that what I needed? Uh, it's warehouse two. Yeah, so this is an extra driver. So I need to have you. Ah, okay. So we're going to replace that other warehouse, right? I'm going to need another bigger truck to do that because that's going to take forever if I have to do that. If I have to do that with this van, it'll take forever. There's no way to move your inventory from one warehouse to the other. Um, one way to solve this, what I think would be a great way to solve this, because we have the logistical means to move products between businesses. The warehouse can deliver to businesses. What I think could solve this problem really easy I mean, from a coding standpoint, and I'm not a coder, so I don't know, um, is just to simply add a warehouse to the list of places which a warehouse can supply. And then I can just basically say, Warehouse two, right? Cool. Awesome. So I can go over and say, um, char Inc logistics manager. I can now add a warehouse to this. And then I can say, I want to keep this much in stock. And basically that would just allow the game to move it over there. Right. And then I can get rid of it in the list. But if I, if I have the ability to add a warehouse here, then that solves the whole problem because I could just have logistically, they can deliver the stuff that I tell them to deliver. Uh, to the location and they just do it for me. There's no reason the CEO of this business has to be the one that manually moves everything over, right? Uh, so that's that's how you could do it. All right. We got things pretty much in stock here. Looks pretty good. We need to get cigars. Uh, once we get cigars, then we, you know, we'll stack a bunch of cigars on this shelf. We'll get another shelf too. And then this shop is ready to go pending employees being hired. So that is our new liquor store. Oh, goody. Uh, so there's a pallet shelf and wine shelf. I, I really need to stop going back and forth, but this is the last trip. I didn't need to go. I could have brought one of those hand carts with me, but I didn't. So we'll get another wine shelf, maybe like right here. Just again, just kind of separating them out. Really, really give them some, some breathing room, if you will right next to it like this right so we'll say bottles of wine here too okay we're basically ready to go um i can hire the the cleaners now because they are uh right they are there liquor store uh schedule and then monday through friday right i can say joel you're here tuesday's fanny wednesday's fanny again thursday's tia friday's christian saturday harvey does this one sunday back to joel I could do that, right? Easy peasy. Um, I can, I now need to get opening hours on it. That's not a problem at the moment. Um, what I really need to do, I think, or really, I guess what I really want to do is to buy another one of those really big trucks. I want to buy one of those big trucks and then replace the other. Well, I want to replace the other warehouse. I don't want to re necessarily replace the truck in the warehouse. I would just like to replace the warehouse because the truck in the warehouse is the right truck. Um, but I need to buy another warehouse to do that. But that's something I will definitely do offline as far as moving products to the other warehouse because warehouse one doesn't have enough space. Warehouse two, I mean, at the moment, I have capacity for, what is it, 12 businesses? Eight and four. That's how math works. Uh, I have capacity for 12 businesses and I, I only have eight. I think the game will tell me I have nine, but like these don't count, so it's eight. Um, the game will tell me that I have nine because they count the HQ as a warehouse. 
go to sleep here. Wake up when the place is open. And then uh, also when they're open, $46,000 there, that's nice. Uh, when, also when they're open, I need to uh, call my contacts. I think these guys don't open till 10 though. Oh, I guess they're open now. I'm sorry. A liquor store, please. I'd like customer service people. And we'll just give me a whole bunch of them and give it to me now. How's that sound? Cool? Good. All right. Um, also think I should call the marketing agency and uh, see if I can't get some marketing for a different business here. Do, do I have any marketing at all for charge rules? I'm not sure I do. But you know what? If I spend a whole lot of money, then I'm willing to bet you. Oh, yeah. We can crank up the business at Charge Rules real fast. Go. Where's Charge Rules? Jewels, Jewels, Jewels. And marketing. Okay. We have two campaigns running now. Oh, good. Uh, well, do I get dinged at all if I cancel one of them? Because this one just started, so... And it's more expensive. If I just go ahead and cancel this. Yeah, no, I'm not dinged at all. So, no, it's, it's, it's a contract, but it's not a contract, right? Nice. Uh, so, this is to deliver expensive jewelry, cheap jewelry, etc. I'm going to have you deliver. Oh, I don't need to do that for this business anymore. I, need to, I can cancel that. Because I have the, I have the docks now. I have the import now. Inventory. Cheap jewelry. I have no expensive jewelry in stock, though. Um, and then paper bags, I'm actually down. So I need to get paper bags in there, too. So I guess what I'll have to do is go back to Chart Inc. I, again, I wish the purchasing agent stuff could be handled at the warehouse, but I kind of understand why it isn't. I, I can sort of understand it. So I just, I just, maybe I'm just being picky. I don't want to, I have to go through all these different tabs, right? So expensive jewelry. We'll have the same hundred delivered, but I'm gonna have like a big order. I want like five hundred expensive jewelry delivered here. It's two hundred thousand um, dollars. The other thing I would like to have is my current money on screen at all times, so that I know whether or not I can afford this or not. Uh, two twenty-eight. Okay, uh, I'll go back here and purchasing agent. Here we go. So this is two hundred thousand, but it's gonna give me five hundred. Uh, into the warehouse, which is good. I also want to send paper bags to the warehouse. And let's see if we can't send like, yeah, like 10,000 paper bags. So that's 210 grand. I'm gonna order that. That'll get delivered tomorrow. And then my logistics manager, Bethany, will handle the delivery of stuff uh, from the warehouse to Chargeables because we're doing lots of marketing now. We're gonna need a lot of that stuff in stock. But because I did that, I can't actually buy it myself. I was I was thinking about it, but I can't. I need two hundred twenty thousand for the delivery. So we're just gonna go ahead and basically sleep twenty four hours in our van because that's because that's comfortable. We love doing that. I make an extra forty three grand. The store opens, and now I can go in. And now, as long as I don't spend too much. I'll be good to go. I need to have cigars. I'm here for the cigars. So let's park the vehicle, see how much they cost. Okay, weird. I, I'm getting stopped. I can't move. I had it happen once on the street too, uh, but I couldn't fix it. I was literally stopped in place. I could not move no matter what I did. Click on a building, nothing. I reported the bug, so we'll see. I'm not sure what happens when you report a bug. I know it sends a screenshot and a description that I type in, but it actually, if I remember correctly, it does say that it sends my save game. So should be able to open it up and see. In any case, a uh, bunch of cigars. Yep, we're just gonna go back and forth, grab a bunch of these, and that should do it. I think no, because we can't. Well, I can set up a delivery contract, right? That's what I have to do here while I'm here. So this will be good enough for now. And then we'll set up the delivery contract with this guy. So that's four grand. That's nothing, dude. These are very cheap cigars. <laughs> they are not. These are not Cubans. <laughs> okay. Liquor store. Uh, go. Glad we have a deal. Let's 
go back over to the liquor store. And again, you guys drop me comments. Tell me what you'd like to see in the liquor store. So it looks like I need two checkout counters. See? Five bottles of wine. That goes up to 50. So I have way too many shelves. Too many cigar shelves. Yeah. So I need one more checkout counter if I want to have 30. Right now it's at 20, which is blah. Yeah, in any case, I'd like to set up the delivery for this anyway, though. So deliveries, yes. Uh, today's Thursday. Let's do, mm, do Wednesday. We can afford for a little bit here. Let it go for a little while. Um, take bottles of wine, take cigars, and paper bags should be fine. But we can't do the bottles of wine and cigars ourselves. So we'll say that we want eight boxes of each delivered every week. That seems pretty reasonable. We should be able to whip through that many, hopefully. Already paid for it. Okay. So let's take these cigars to our store. We don't have employees yet. That's what this little blip is for. Whee! Oh boy. This is 5th Street. What did I... Oh, I hit the... <laughs> I'm hitting things and people a person is a type of thing the nondescript thing uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm on 4th street not 5th street oh I need another checkout counter and stuff too so we'll stop by the appliance store and we'll get another checkout counter as well coming through oh come on i just wanted to park i just wanted to park oh man what's the guy gotta do to get parking in new york city I figured driving on the wrong side of the road would help me i figured you know, if, if you got this guy driving on the wrong side of the road you're gonna get out of the way because expecting a person who's driving like that to get out of the way that's foolish nobody should be expecting that you know get the counter and you know what? I think I can fit another shelf in that store, so I'm gonna grab one more shelf too. All right, let's check out. All right, and we're just gonna go over here, dump all that stuff in, and we're gonna whip a Yui. Nobody will notice. And uh, I think I can park on this side of the street. Can I park here. The, it's a creative way to parallel park, but it does work. Oh, yeah. There we go. Right in the back. Perfect. Okay. Give me the hand truck and give me the storage shelf. Storage shelf. Yep. And then cigars. All right. So, uh, we will drop everything. Well, I need to have the storage shelf placed before I can drop it in anywhere, so put it right up against this. Perfect. Uh, and then we'll take this storage shelf and we're going to put it right here. Does it fit? Ooh, that's so bizarre. It's like, it, it does work. It's just like, I can't put it against the wall. I have to put it out from the wall. I think it's because, yeah, there's, maybe there's just the doors in the way. The door doesn't count as being in the way if I go here though. So you, you literally can't shut this door now. <laughs> Fine. I mean, I know that you can't shut it in the game, but if it was real life, you would be able to shut it now. All right. So I've delivered that. Um, let's go back out. Grab those cigars again. Offload them. Let's also get our recruits here. So um, we don't have the greatest of recruits, to be honest. This is what happens when you rush your when you rush your hires here. So we'll grab these three, four, five. Grab these five. Um, what we're going to do, instead of getting them in there right away, we're going to take and unassign them. I would like like toggles right next there's room for this right little toggles check boxes and then select an action right i've talked about this in other games before um there's a propensity uh, um 
Evil Genius was a great example of this, right? We talked about it in the Evil Genius series where uh, there's a propensity in, in games, right, to select something and then select what to do to it. And I like the idea of selecting an action and then selecting what I want to put that action to. In this case, um, there's kind of a mixture of both. If I just select all these guys together and select unassign, that'd be cool. Um, one way to do it, maybe is check boxes. Another way would be maybe to hold shift, you know, and then say unassign. I could have all five of them unassigned. Not that big of a deal, um, but it's just a little bit saves time, right? Like if I want to train all of them too, the action I select could be train them. And then they all get trained at the same time. But I have to like do this one at a time. Not the not the worst thing in the world, you know. But just like a thing that I notice in like a lot of games that I play is that there is uh, pretty regularly, in fact, we get to the point where it's like I have to do something over and over and over again because there's no mechanism to bulk select, right? Put this right here. There we go. All right, let me let this play on for a little bit. I'm going to offload this stuff, get the liquor store really settled, and I'll bring you guys back in when this is all said and done, okay? All right, so store is open. People are going in, getting their cigars, getting their, their wine. That's pretty much it. I want beer. All right, I want beer. I want a big old beer section right over there, okay? Uh, liquor store. We have a uh, maximum capacity here. Everything is good. We can now call for some marketing if we want to as well. So let's go marketing. Let's go Google ads is fine. We'll go 11 weeks, 12 weeks, whatever. Uh, let's just go like, yeah, around 100,000 impressions. This seems fine. Go. All right. So lots of marketing to try to get, uh, try to get some more customers in the store. So, um, as far as customer satisfaction and stuff, it's not doing too great right now, but this is our first day. So we're going to need to kind of see how that goes. Uh, I am here working at myself, uh, at the moment because our staff are not fully trained. The, the employees here, they're not, they're not done with their training, but I do have a, a woman named Yasmin Smith, uh, and she is already 88%. So I'm having her work the second shift, uh, for me right now. And she wants free weekends. I, 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 all my businesses are going to just have to have the weekends off, you know? So I'm going to just say time machine at the end of my shift. And that's when Jasmine will take over. There she is. Or Yasmin. I figured it was... Uh, it could be Jasmine. It could be Yasmin. It just kind of depends on where, you, where you're from, right? The, the Y makes a different sound, depending. In any case, uh, my cultural ignorance aside... There's this, these so many customer service agents, which tomorrow I can schedule them and get them all in there and uh, work their schedule. So uh, there we go. Eight businesses total, which means all of our businesses can now be serviced by a single warehouse. Okay. So before I go and add another business from this point, I'm going to get all the stuff that's in warehouse one and see about transferring it all to warehouse two. That's going to be a pain in the ass. But I'm going to do it just for you. <laughs> no, I'm going to do it because I, I want to have another warehouse and I want it to have two vehicle bays. So uh, anyway, that's going to do it for me today, guys. Uh, we have ourselves a working, fully functional, kind of empty, kind of empty uh, liquor store. Adding new, more varieties of products for these stores would give the players uh, like me who want to fill this place up a lot more agency i feel um there's an entire section just no reason to have it over here so i should probably not have a store this big for a liquor store but if i don't get one this big well then i can't have as many customers come on in right this becomes 15. so i kind of have to have a building that's this big to have the building limit go up but, but then I can't fill it really unless I want to put excessive shelves, which is a waste of cost because it doesn't help me get any more prisoners or prisoners. No, <laughs> I just got done doing prison architect. It doesn't help me uh, to get in, uh, more customers. So uh, yeah. Also, somebody there just complained about something and I didn't see it. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and look uh, for that as well. But um, if you're wondering about our liquor store, we have hours. We, we open at nine. Yeah, that's maybe just a little bit early for liquor store, but fine. We open at nine. We close at 11. Probably could stay open until like one, but does it let me do that? No. I'd have to go 
a uh, second, I have to be able to like this. You have to add a second shift kind of thing here. So if I want to be open until two, that's how I have to do it. Or one, then I have to do it like this. But that's fine. Uh, okay, that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Also, special thank you to my patrons and stuff and, uh, and the members and stuff that are over here on the right side of the screen. And... Uh, yeah, I, I gotta figure out what the heck they're saying. I think they're saying something about customer service. What a nice customer experience. Okay, good. It's a good thing. There you go. All right, take it easy. We'll see ya. Bye-bye.